as an employee, I, I want to check my, my email on the, on the internet, on the outlook.com, for instance. Uh, and I know that my company has uh, arcadiafinance.io. My company has security solution in order to, to steer the traffic and to analyze the traffic uh, from the internet and to the internet. To, to decrypt the traffic, I'm going to use a, an SSL orchestrator. So it's very simple. Uh, the SSL orchestrator is going to decrypt the traffic going to internet and it will steer the traffic to several security devices. In the first step, I will have a sandbox in tap mode, so reserve only uh, mode, okay, so no response from this box. I have a Palo Alto as well, okay, so next gen firewall with a file. I would say file control, okay, so file analysis, URL analysis, application ID analysis, and we have an IPS, but so far the IPS is not yet connected to the, to the SSL. So the IPS is analyzing the traffic uh, going to the internet, but if the traffic is encrypted, the IPS will not be able to decrypt the traffic, okay? So let's go. This is my, my personal laptop, okay? Um, I'm connecting to Outlook.com or I'm connecting to, to something else. So let's go to, uh, first of all, to, uh, to a personal personal website, okay? Like my like my bank, okay? If I go to my bank, uh, my, work is, my bank has a HTTPS uh, website and I, I don't want Arcadia Finance, my employer, to, my employer to, to decrypt the traffic. So, here we are able to, to bypass traffic when it is finance, trading, or health, okay? But if I go to, uh, to another website like, uh, like a torrent website, the traffic will be decrypted and steered, okay? So here it's decrypted by, it's decrypted by the SSLO, and the SSLO is presenting a certificate but issued from the Arcadia Finance KPI. So if I try to download uh, to download the torrent file like that, and I click on the download, one of my security solution will block it. So as you can see, it's block here, failed network error. It's I know which one it is. It's Palo Alto. Okay, so the Palo Alto blocks this connection. So if I go to my pan, go to the monitoring, I wait for the refresh. Okay, at 308, I can see the connection to download the torrent from Spider-Man. So, the Palo Alto has a, a, non a decrypted traffic and is able to, to protect against peer-to-peer -peer and torrent file. Okay, but if I go to my bank account, my bank website, I do not decrypt and I bypass. So far, so good. Okay, this is a base in my policy. If I go to, uh, to myhalfrook.com and I receive an email here, you can see I, I receive an email from my latest invoice from 12box. Uh, it could be a, a file attached to my email or it could be a link okay, to, a, to an external, uh, external invoice system. If I download this file, click, click on download, the download path through uh, the SSL orchestrator and through several devices. So as a reminder, it passed so far to an IPS but encrypted because uh, Outlook.com is encrypted so IPS I suppose is not analyzing anything then it passed through the PAN okay so it's a RTF file so it's allow Outlook.com is allow and it passed through the, the sandboxing so if I go to the sandboxing we should see something why okay why because this file is known as my issues okay so it, it already passed through the sandbox three days ago and if i go to the details and i would like why this file is dangerous suspicious i can check the sandboxing report okay this is virtual analyzer report so the sandboxing report and i can see a lot of things okay so it's in processes goes to the to the registry is doing as well some Oh, he's injecting PowerShell, he's executing calculator, and he's connected to a command and control server, okay, passbin.com. And on this command and control, there is, there is a suspicious code, okay? So this code will be executed and something will happen, and you can see some cyber connection as well. 
So, so far, what happens? I downloaded the file. Why? Because nothing is analyzing so far the, the, the file, because my IPS is not able, it's totally blind. My IPS is not able to analyze it. So, if I execute the file, something will, uh, will happen, I'm pretty sure, because I don't have an IPS analyzing encrypted traffic. So to, to make it simple on a, on, on a demo, on a screen for you, we, we use a, a malicious code embedded in the RTF file, but we show it as an exe file, okay? In the real life, it's a VBA, so it's code, it's code executed in the background and you don't see anything. But here, I'm gonna execute it, okay? Manually, so that everyone can see what happens when you execute malicious code. And you can see, he executed a lot of codes, okay? It's he was, he, he was able to connect to the command control, download the orders, the order is please launch calculator many times, please connect to something else. So, so far my, my laptop is not protected against this malware, okay? Because I don't have an endpoint protection system, it's a zero day. And even though we know this, this, this file is is a malicious file, I don't have any box able to decrypt the traffic and block it, block the connection. So let's do it again, but now let's add the IPS in the steering, in the, in the system, in the system orchestrator, okay? So I come back to my service chain in my SSL orchestrator. In my service chain, I will add uh, the, the IPS. So I edit my security policy. And you can see my policy, so far it's very, very simple. Uh, if it is finance or health, medicine, it's bypassing, okay? And I send the traffic to the sandbox, we don't care. But for the rest, I want to steer the traffic with all my services, okay? So with the IPS. And not only the TAP, and not only the, the Palo Alto. So I deploy this new security policy and now, the traffic sent to the IPS will be decrypted, okay? So I expect the IPS to detect that my laptop is, is launching a malicious file trying to connect to a third, with an external command and control, okay, or repository. So let's do exactly the same, uh, the, the same uh, exercise. So let's go back to my downloads. I execute it again, same file, but now I should not see anything. Why? Because the IPS is detecting a connection to a malicious destination. Non-malicious because this, this file has been analyzed by the sandbox a few days ago. And now if I get back to my IPS, I can see that my, my the request to the CNC here has been blocked and you can see on a CNC, on a CNC the connection now is HTTP so it means I decrypted the traffic okay so now I decrypt all the traffic inbound outbound and the traffic is analyzed by all my security devices my sandboxing my sandboxing is updating the IPS if something is suspicious and when the client connect connect to the suspicious destination, the IPS is not blind anymore and the IPS will block it, okay? For the rest, my Palo Alto and NextGen firewall is doing the rest for the URL categorization, uh, reputation for the application ID reputation and for the file as well, okay? File extension reputation. Very easy to put in place.